believe that it was right to heal somebody on the wrong day of the week. And Christ came to free us from the law. And uh, I think Father Michael is really helping us to enter into the mystery of that. The second book you have, which you've also turned into a retreat, is Consoling the Heart of Jesus. Now, you wrote that book before the Marian book, is that right? Yeah, that's, yeah, I did. That, that was uh, that one I wrote when I was actually in the seminary. And um, and it was it's a book that's sort of, uh, the main theme of it is, is sort of divine mercy, or the mercy uh, in the heart of Jesus. So uh, for those of you that would like to enter into that, uh, I guess you were saying that it would probably could do either or, or you could even do both, yes? Maybe first the, the con- consecration to Mary and then the consoling in the heart of Jesus. Yeah, what I, what I usually recommend for people is that they, they, they start out with 33 Days to Morning Glory, the book on the Mary consecration, because uh, as, I, as we mentioned, you know, with, with Mother Teresa and Blunt of John Paul II, that Mary's whole role is help us to discover divine mercy. Yes the mercy of God and that, that love of God for us in our in the midst of our sins, fullness, and our brokenness. And so, um, so I usually I recommend that they first do the consecration so that they have Mary praying even more powerfully for them uh, to discover that mystery of mercy. And then, um, and then I and then a lot of people have seemed to uh, find a healing and, and a deeper discovery of the mercy of God uh, through consoling the heart of Jesus um, because it you know sort of like whereas. 33 Days to Morning Glory relies on all these different saints. Um, Consoling the Heart of Jesus relies on the great saints of Divine Mercy, uh, namely St. Festina Kowalska and uh, St. Therese of Lisieux, the Little Flower. And what it is, is it's actually a do-it-yourself retreat. It's based on the spiritual exercise of St. Ignatius. So, like, um, I, it's based on the teaching of Therese and Festina, which is a reiteration of the Gospel, the, of, with the heart of the Gospel, God's Mercy. Um, but it uses Ignatian organizing principles. St. Ignatius of Loyola was a soldier, and he was the master of organization. And so what I use is Ignatian organizing principles to lay out and to explain and help someone experience the mercy of God through the testimony of St. Faustina and St. Therese. Wow. I, wasn't that part of some of the consecrations that were done actually for the St. Louis de Montfort formula, wasn't there, like, usually it preceded, was preceded by an Ignatian retreat for persons to start kind of getting in touch with what what God was maybe speaking or saying to them, or is, it seems to me I came across something saying that that was uh, one of the suggestions when entering even into St. Louis de Montfort's teachings. That may, be, that may be true, because, I mean, one of the unique things about Ignatian retreats and St. Ignatius's retreat is spiritual exercises, is that it, it's received more than 600 statements of papal approbation. In other words, more than 600 times popes have been like, this is awesome. <laughs> and they basically said, this is the best retreat the church has to offer. And so it, if you've got the best retreat the church has to offer, and uh, and you've got also one of the greatest devotions the church has to offer at Mary Consecration, it would make sense in the mind of St. Louis, uh, Louis de Montfort, who knew the Jesuits and knew their spirituality well, uh, that it would make sense that, that it could be done in the context of an Ignatian retreat. In fact, um, the Consoling Art of Jesus, I sort of summarize Mary in consecration within that and try and ask, invite a person to do the consecration in the midst of that retreat. So 